Welcome everybody to another Phantom Kicks video. Thank you guys just for watching. I just want to say that. Um, and if you're new here, go ahead, subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you like to know where the shoes are from, um, leave me a comment and I'll leave you an email or something uh, where you can contact me. Of course, I will never say on YouTube um, where I purchase these from. Um, but this is for more for educational purposes to make sure that if you're trying to um, purchase a real pair, you don't get got because most of these pairs that I review are pairs that go for a lot of money. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to show you or also if there's that there is a different way from paying resale. So with that being said, um, you saw the title. This is the Shattered Backboard Jordan 1. A um, little backstory on that. Uh, Jordan was on a tour for Nike in Italy. And he went up for a dunk. And he broke the backboard. Shattered the glass. Um, he was wearing the Jordan 1 Chicago. And that pair recently was auctioned off for a lot of money and it actually still had pieces of broken glass from the backboard inside the shoe uh, which is kind of cool <laughs> uh, but yeah so the team colors were in orange and black and if i'm not mistaken there's a picture out there that they took and to me if i remember i don't know if it was just weird camera um, or something to do with the uniform, but the shoe kind of looked like the shattered backboard in that picture. I'm pretty sure. Um, if not, no big deal. But either way, the these shoes do match then the um, uniform of that Italian team. And it was just an exhibition, but, you know, MJ, Jordan, Michael, whatever you call him, his airness, didn't really believe in exhibitions for most of the part. Um, he always went hard and... Plus, he was in Italy showing off. You know, he was, I think, just coming off his rookie year or something like that. So, you know, he wanted to give the people in Italy a taste of what Jordan was about. But so here we go. This is um, the box right here. Let's read what it says. So it says, Air Jordan 1 Retro, Black, Starfish, and Sale. And everything else looks good. 160 is a price tag. The thing comes up. Um, and what I like to do with all my pairs, even though, again, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to scan it, see what comes up. Let's close out the ads and look at that again. Now I don't know what it means to be able to see that. Um, but it's kind of cool. Shows you the shoe. Um, some Nike retails that I've gotten from Nike do not scan. And a lot of these, um, a lot of these, um, other UAs do, but it says Amazon, it's listed on Amazon for $2,950. Let me click on that. Let's see what happens. Let's see what takes me to the link. Oh, well, it's not coming up, but actually let's go to goat, the goat app. Let me go to the goat app. And I will type in shattered backboard. Jordan 1, shattered backboard OG. Oh, actually out of stock in the 10 and a half. Wow. But look at the 9 and a half. <laughs> $3,000. dollars $3,000. You want to know how much these cost that I have right here? You won't even believe it. But $145 shipped. Yeah, guys. There's a better way out there, man. We don't have to be paying those crazy resale prices. And we don't have to be making other people rich. Why do we continue to do that? I don't know. But enough chit-chat. My jacket's a little tight. Um, enough chit-chat. Let's show you guys the shoe. Right away, you got your Nike box. This came in really good condition, actually. Um, 
for a second time a shoe comes in good condition. No code or anything like that on the shoe. Um, but yeah, this box is in really good condition all over. No dents, no nothing. They really are actually good. You got your Jordan paper. And we're going to take out the left shoe first. So here is the left shoe. And there are some white laces. Now, I don't know if the camera is picking it up. But it... <laughs> It isn't a very a white. Well, maybe because of the laces there. So this is a very a, a sale, like it says. Um, it isn't white. I always thought it was white at first, but it's not. But look at that hourglass in the back, and the other one. Let's take out the right one and remove the box. Nothing funny in the box this time. No StockX sticker. No pair of socks no nothing here's your right one what do you guys think I've never seen a, a, a shatter backboard in person actually this is one shoe that I have not seen in person but everything looks pretty good to me um, past the black light test as well so there isn't isn't anything um, like that, where you gotta worry about that. Um, and the inside comes with your Jordan little shoe trees. And let me take these out because this is a little detail that comes with the shoe that they got pretty much spot on, I'm gonna say. And it has your little detailing shattered backboard on the insole which is really cool they got that on both shoes so yeah um looks like they did a very good job with that um what else can we look at uh, let's take a look at this area here so there's your your writing and all that your nike air there looks pretty good um, your slits or cuts whatever here see this is where I think a lot of places go wrong there they don't do that clean clean cut thing but no big deal there still looks good it's gonna be covered up with laces you got your standard black laces on the shoe and yeah uh, let me know what you guys think of this shoe um, I guess I'll show you guys the bottom. Now, the shattered backboard, everybody claims that it is the best um, leather and that all Jordans should have that the same leather consistency. Um, I don't know if that's true because most of us don't even know what good leather is. But, I mean, one person says it. Everybody says it. Um, one thing I am noticing that I definitely know for sure that the camera it's not picking it up, but okay. So most Jordans, any any Jordan one that has black, like from 2015 and above or something like that, it gets some supposedly gets some like glitter, some weird glitter looking thing when you just let it sit in the box. And these definitely are starting to have it. So that means that this one wasn't a, a, a like a new made model. I would say it's been something that's been sitting there, but it wipes off. You just get a, a damp cloth or something and wipe it off. I kind of like the way it looks personally, um, but this one definitely does have it. So if it's a UA, I mean, if it's a fake, why is it doing that? To me, it tells me that they use the same materials, at least as far as for this shoe. I don't know about all of them, but at least for this shoe, they do use the same materials that I would say Nike does. Because why is the same problem happening to a UA pair? If that's a issue that came with um, Jordan 1's made by Nike. This one has the same one. I can I can pretty much guarantee you that I can see it as soon as I open the box. I can see it. Um, so it tells me that they're doing the same process, same everything that Nike um, has done. And I mean, this has been out for a while now. So I would think that they could probably get it down a lot better. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. Is the orange... 
off? Is it too orangey? I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think, but instead of paying $3,000, I'd rather pay um, what I paid for these. And uh, I'm happy to add these to the collection. These will be going right onto feet, of course, because we wear in our sneakers. There's no point in getting UAs to save them. You just got to wear them. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video. Again, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe, like it, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.